We loved what we saw, but it was time to move on to Ile de Ré. And keep watching, because there's some really exciting stuff at the end of this video. Enjoy. is off the Atlantic coast, France, near La Rochelle. Its highest point has an elevation of 20 metres. It is 30 kilometres long and 5 kilometres wide. The 2.9 Il Rey Bridge, completed in 1988, connects it to La Rochelle on the mainland. During Roman times, Ile de Ré was an archipelago consisting of three small islands. The space between the islands was progressively filled by a combination of human activity, salt fields gained from the sea, and silting. In 745, Hungol, the Duke of Aquitaine, retired to a monastery on the island. In the mid 12th century, a Cistercian monastery was founded on the isle. We're on the peninsula, it used to be an island of Il de Ré. And right now we're going to visit that monastery, or at least what's left of it. It's just a brilliant day today. So, um, absolutely enjoying our French trip. The men's abbey was founded in 1119 by Gerard de Salle and closed in 1791. After having established around 20 religious establishment in the west of France, the monastery became an important centre of pilgrimage until the end of the Middle Ages. It was affiliated to the Cistercian Order from 1160. After a first period of construction around 1140, the abbey was to be considerably embellished in the second half of the 13th century under the Abbacy of Thomas. The abbey church thus becomes a masterpiece of Gothic art, in particular for the vast choir housing, the tomb of the founder Gerard de Salle. Throughout the Middle Ages, financial and land donations flowed in. Various large families claimed the title of donor founders, Lords of Rochefort, Lusignan. English troops caused damage to buildings in the fall of 1346, the Hundred Years' War. It seemed, despite everything, that the whole of the monastery was then quite well protected by a fortified enclosure, moats and a dungeon. During the wars of religion, the monastery was completely ravaged by the Huguenots, November the 7th, 1568. The island became English in 1154. Then, the island reverted to France in 1243. And in 1360, with the Treaty of Brittany, Il Rey briefly became English again until the 1370s. In February 1625, the Protestant Duke of Soubise led a Huguenot revolt against the French King Louis VIII and after publishing a manifesto, invaded and occupied the island of Ray. 
in September 1625, Charles, Duke of Guise, organised a landing in order to recapture the islands with the support of the Dutch and English navies. And here ends the history lesson. Enjoy Ilderay. We did. I have an announcement to make. I will be boarding a plane and I will be going to visit my children and my grandchildren obviously. My jaw step.